Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Ark Knights. This is your host, River Foxen, and today we will be going on to the finale of Episode 4. It's Operation 4-10, Extinguished Flames. So, we take a look at this map here, and we see we've got uh, Frost Nova is going to kind of wind around. And uh, then we've got uh, basically... Looks like two lanes uh, of uh, where we have to worry about. So I don't know. I see these stairs here. So that makes me think that can can something walk through uh, past the stairs onto this exit? Or is that only flying units that I have to worry? I guess that I'll find out. No, they must be able to walk over them because they can walk over them. From the entrance here obviously so yeah so we've basically got two lanes to defend and this north lane where um frost nova is going to be kind of coming down here so that'll be interesting i don't know what to expect other than frost nova um and i'm sure that she has some secrets in store anyway going to go ahead and hit start. I'll show off that I have leveled up units. Um, so the recommended operator level is level 70. And so I've got most of my team level 70. My six stars are only 66. I um, mean, if it turns out that they need to get leveled up, I can. But once you get above like 50 or so, the, the amount of experience cards that uh, these characters need is, is kind of ridiculous um, so it just ends up taking a while and we have our first uh, um, E2 promotion um, it was Myrtle uh, simply because the uh, four stars max out at level 60 C click has not been promoted because I don't have all of the materials that I need uh, to promote her I still need to get more of these things um, but uh, I did get what I needed to promote Myrtle, so she is my first E2. I believe that unlocked a um, a talent. Yeah, this this talent, all Vanguard operators recover uh, 28 plus 3 HP per second while Myrtle is deployed. Um, that is pretty much the only thing that she gets from being uh, E2 would because um, four stars don't get another a third skill. But what that could do, and what I believe it's going to do is, yes, now I have access to guest units at E2. So this could be interesting. Um, up until now, I was restricted by the fact that I had nobody promoted on my team, but now I do. So now I have to kind of think about what this actually means. Because I never really thought about thought about it up until now. Hmm. Like, what does Exu's? Oh, I don't want to grab her yet. I just want to see what is her skill now. I mean, I don't know if this is actually her her um, S3, but uh, I think it is her S3 because it's automatic. Um, and the, the one that I've been using, I believe, was a manual trigger, but not 100% sure. Hmm. I mean, I could go with Mountain, but I, you know, I think this is actually his S1. I think that's just his a very useful skill for him. I don't know the Chanka here. Hmm. I mean, sometimes I feel like Mountain is cheating, but I could do it. But I don't know Blemish Shine. She is healing defender. I 
Hmm. Wow, this is like tough. I don't know what to what to pick. Um, I don't think there's a good lane for Ifrit um, on this stage. Not that I've really successfully used Ifrit. I mean, I actually have the character. I haven't really leveled her up, which it's, it's like. I think I tried to use her in one battle, but it just, I don't, you, you know, her strength is like that, that range, um, you know, this ridiculous, like, AOE, like, if you can get, like, this lane going here, it's kind of crazy. Hmm. Because, let's see, let's look at the map. Yeah, I mean, I can't put or aim down those lanes, and I can't really get her to even go across, like, the three lanes because I can't deploy on the sides here. So, yeah, this is not really a um, Ifrit stage. Um, you could just go with the old standby of Mountain, but uh, I'm not really getting a cool S3. What? Oh, Bartooth. Yeah, infinitely long straight line ahead. So again, this is not going to be as useful because she's going to be to the side of the lane. So, I mean, she's probably pretty cool being the wide wide range. Yeah, but let's see like with the the wide range sniper, I I end up like finding Rosmontis kind of fits that other than the fact that she can't attack aerial enemies, that uh, we always know is her kind of weakness, but she is wide range and AOE, so, you know, Exu is a character I wish I had. Hmm. Let me have Mudrock. Um... Mudrock is another character I don't know that I've really used successfully. I don't know. Like that I feel very good about the defenders on my team, um, being Liskarm and Saria. Um I feel like where I hurt generally is Sniper, although my snipers are pretty good and yeah, I don't know. I don't know how, where I'm really hurting, and I don't know the stage very well. I mean, I, I'm, I think I'm gonna go mountain just because, as I've always said, I kind of know what to do with him. Maybe after I see the stage, I might end up changing it up. Especially since I don't, um, um, none of my like other characters that I might swap in um, are, you know, leveled up yet to this area so if i end up needing to swap uh my team my uh, someone out of my main team uh, i would probably have to take a break to uh level them up and given the kind of my time constraints i think i'm only going to get one attempt at this before i have to take a break from recording so let's just start here and let's get on with the story temperature is dropping sharply. There's ice forming on the ground. It's so cold. Unbelievable. Even the burning effigy was frozen over. The flames were put out. Dark clouds have covered the sky. Ah! Don't panic. Jessica, black steel operator. Huh? Yes. Stay in position. Roger. What are you doing, Frostleaf? She... She's draining all the heat from her surroundings. I never knew she was able to def uh, affect such a wide area. Heh. <laughs> Master of the Yetis. I've never met anyone with a lower body temperature than mine. Frostleaf. Meteorite. To be honest, I wanted to. 
distract her and buy some time for you. You. But my body is completely frozen. I can't move my feet anymore. Frostly! Amia, take them with you and fight your way out of here. In less than a minute, the enemy commander will have frozen this entire square. Don't make me die for nothing. Amia, we can't. I won't leave her. I understand. I won't leave Frostleaf behind. I will not leave anyone behind. I'll hold off the enemy squad's movements. Meteorite, I'm counting on you to bring Frostleaf back. Roger. Doctor, please lead our squads. Not. Hmm. Now that I think about it, I've only used these arts once before. Wherever there is blood. Huh. So you want to use your ice to counter mine? Eh. How will you do that if you can't even use your tongue anymore? You. Hmm. Yeti Squadron, spread out. Roger. My brethren, flush them out and freeze their blood. Understood. Your mind can hide nothing from me. An incantation? The Rabbit of Rhodes Island. Black lines? What the hell is that? Whoa, whoa, what kind of arts is that? Well, wait, why is that thing warming past our barriers? Don't... Ah! Well, my body! It's on fire! It's burning! Meteorite! I know. Please, keep distracting them. No, no So cold! Mm, it hurts so much! Ah! No! No more! Hmm. Hurry. Don't let them hurt our comrades any further. Understood. Your original marks are very formidable. Hmm. Eh. Ah. Uh, damn you. Get away from me. Mm. Mm. I won't give you a chance to use your arts, girl. Now close your eyes and sleep. I'll put you out of your misery soon. This witch. Hmm. I take it that you're a Mia. Yeah. Hmm. I like the look in your eyes. That is how a warrior should look. Huh? I'm sorry. Why are you? Hmm. Hmm. Eh? What's going on here? Mm hmm. It's snowing? Sleep, my children, sleep. Hedgehog dolls and teddy bears. This strange mel- oh, This strange melody. She's casting her arts. Sink quietly into black. My broken puppets and dolls. Eh? Even more shards of black ice are appearing out of thin air. The ice shards are slowly falling onto the ground. Shoot, the ground is freezing wherever the shards fall. The black ice. It's spreading. The ice crystals are eroding everything around us. Don't let her finish her song. Rhodes Island, we're going all out. All right, Operation 4-10, Extinguished Flames. The one you've been waiting for. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Let's... So there she is. Okay. Now, where are the things? Okay, so... Come down this path first. Hmm. Let's see here. She's 
gonna get overwhelmed, so let's get Fender behind her. Yep. Good thing I did. Something would have leaked by there. That's what she's doing. She, I think she uh, does damage in these spots. Anyway, let's get um, a medic. So I'm thinking of, as soon as I get a chance, throwing in my DPS. Probably gonna come down the middle path. Oh, she's doing something. Okay, well, don't have to worry about that just yet. Yep, that's what I thought. Gonna go down that path. So let's get some some defense and some offense. Although, see, here's going to be interesting because she's going to go from the back. Um, Ooh, wow, she just killed him. All right. Well, I guess, uh, but that's what that does. That's a, that attack is an instant kill. All right, well, that's interesting to know. うん。I got rid of her, but all is not lost. really in a position to attack her right now. I um, mean, I can throw somebody, like, click out. And I'm waiting to be able to deploy the monster, which I can do now, so... Let's see here. I need to... Oh. Alright, so much for monster. And Ross. Ouch.
Hmm. Because I was going to actually deploy monster. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm still kind of okay. One who's in danger now is Saria. I can't deploy anyone here. I mean, I could deploy him now. And just stick a drone here. And then get you into the battle mode. Oh wait, not there. Ah, that's stupid. Oh, she was facing this direction. I can't put her there. Um. Alright, who just died? Um. Okay, so Kaltzit died. Hmm. This is a tough situation. She's getting down there, though. Unfortunately, nobody can attack her. Like, are, they, are these, like, permanently unusable? Because this doesn't fade away. It's just taking away spots that I can deploy. Like... Hmm. I mean, I don't need you anymore. So that means I could deploy someone else. Is he in sweeping stance or not? Sometimes I don't know. Oh, he's slowed? Oh, I think he was in sweeping stance. Um, okay, so she's... Oh, no! Get it! Oh, one got by. Oh, she got back up. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, well, I'm... I mean... I didn't three-star, but I will have gotten by that. So yeah, she slowed him down. That's why I was like, is he in sweeping stance? Because he's going so slow. All right. Meteorite, we've managed to push the Yeti Squadron back, but I seem to have underestimated you, Rhodes Island. Perhaps I held back a bit too much. I can't feel my fingers anymore. Damn it. What's going on? The cold current is still gathering around her? This time, you won't be so lucky. Eh? Oh no. Is she trying to absorb all the ice surrounding us and release it at once? Mm hmm. She's going to drain all the heat from our bodies. These arts are on a complete different scale from what we saw before. Let it all come to an end. 
May your anger be buried by purest frost. Nah. Hmm? Hmm? Something is stopping the cold from gathering? Yeah. Is this your doing? Didn't I already tell you? I won't let you come any closer. Did you disrupt my cold current using your own arts? What a good kid. Frostleaf used her blade to sever the cold current. But, but, she can't hold out long in that condition. Her blade, it's about to break. That's more than enough. This is our last chance. Amiya, now is the time. Cover me. Be careful. Roger. Starting firing. Suppress Reunion's movements. Meteorite, go! On my way. What? The enemy is rushing towards us? No, she's... She's going straight towards Frost Nova. As if we'd let you... Fire! Ah. Uh. Meteorite! Don't worry, it wasn't a direct hit. She, she's still able to run! Damn it! I told you, you'll never reach the Yetis. Keep firing! Don't give her an opening! Oh no. Gah. No! She was hit! It can't be! It's just a scratch. You'll have to do better than that if you want to stop me. More! I need to do more! Uh, uh, uh. The flow of the cold air fluctuated for a moment. Wait, where's that flow coming from? Eh? I know this feeling. Could it be? I'll just have to give this a try. I have to hit it. Everyone believe in me. Huh? Rhodes Island's leader. She shattered the originium we planted with her arts. It's getting hazy. I knew it. Frost Nova created that cold current by planting a reginium. Meteorite, now's your chance. Frostleaf, I, I promise to save you. So wait for me. Please wait for me. I don't know who this is. Wake up. Yeah. I've got you. Who? Up here, quick, hold on to me. Meteorite? Who said you could play the hero? Do you think I could just sit there and watch you die? Put me down. I'm not some pet. I won't let go of you. Amia, Jessica. All right. Everyone, let's get out of here. Meteorite, go ahead with Frostleaf. I'll cover your retreat. Understood. Gah. Huh. Huh. Frostleaf, hang in there. Don't die. Don't you dare die on me. Don't worry. You can't get rid of me that easily. Jeez, both you and Amiya too. Why do both of you have to be like this? No matter how strong you might be, you're both just kids after all. You're still treating me like a kid? If I could save all of you by giving up my life, I think that's a pretty good deal. You, mark my words, if you ever try to do something like this again, if you ever, I'd... Eh, <sighs> sorry. Start running, meteorite. Don't look back. Harry, just go. Evacuate this area immediately. Protect the medics and the injured. Snipers, aim at those effigies. Keep firing. Disrupt their formation. Demolish the entire building to cover our escape. <laughs> the explosions are making the haze thicker. Here's our opening. Get moving. Everyone, we're retreating from this square. So, they got away. <clears throat> hmm. How long have you been watching? Just a few minutes. These warriors are worthy of praise. Ch Be careful. Oh, is that actually... Is that him? Be careful. Your body isn't in very good condition. I don't need you to remind me. Just do what you need to, old timer. I'm going to go after Rhodes Island. 
We have to get rid of them first. Only then will we be able to go to Lungman. Hmm. Phew. Ha. Ah. We're almost at the escape point. Doctor, we... Amia, we've finally gotten through to the LGD. It's an emergency communication. Madam Shen! Listen up. Madam Shen, can you hear me clearly? Lungman. What's going on? I'm safe now. But... Reunion took over one of our important facilities and is now forcefully opening a passage between the slums and the outer city. Amia. Lungman is in danger. Hmm. Mephisto, that's a kid, right? W managed to lure Lungman and Rhodes Island right into our trap. That's right. They won't be able to escape. Faust and Crown Slayer have already broken their defenses at one location. As you said, this will be our opening to flood into Lungman. We will set up ambushes around every corner. The road to Lungman will run red with fresh blood. Right, that old flag waver should be coming back to Chernobog soon. Our victory is assured. Do you have any other orders for me, Tallulah? Hmm. The time is upon us to turn this rotten city into ashes. Alright, I didn't three star it. One guy leaped by. But, uh. You know, that, that was definitely interesting. The, uh. The freezing attack was, uh. was a pain. Uh. Not simply because it insta killed, uh. people who were in the tiles, but because it denies you the use of those tiles. So, you know, as you can see, I had a hard time, like finding places to put people to like attack her and still defend the lanes like that was the problem with the middle lane is like so much of it was iced over and then uh, click alone couldn't kill that one guy who got by um, you want Saria was killed so perhaps a way to think about it would would have been to defend the middle lane a little bit closer to the entrance and then used the these uh, the further back areas to kind of put uh, units to uh, attack and kind of whittle down Frost Nova. Um, you know, basically doing damage to her as she kind of marched up there. Because she kind of marches up slowly too. The I should have paid a bit more attention to where she stops because there were cases where she was like stopped in a place where nobody was attacking her. Um, because nobody had range. You know, I think she had like basically stood in front of Saria where where Saria wasn't attacking her because uh, you know Saria's range is zero, but uh, so, you know, she was able to kind of do damage and do whatever she was doing, just kinda of sat there not taking any damage because I couldn't really find a place to put anyone to to attack her. But um, you know, I'll call it a victory. Um, I'll probably try and three-star it on my own later. But uh, that was interesting. Uh, we have now finally finished uh, episode four. And so in the next episode, we will move on to episode five, which looks like it's going to feature uh, Chen uh, pretty heavily. Um but we're going to do that next time. So if you enjoyed this Let's Play, be sure to like and subscribe and click that bell icon if you're so inclined. And I'll see you later.